Uh, I'm st- I'm going. I'm moving down the line and sticking in the QB factory. Uh, I agree. I don't. I do think that there's a pretty good chance that uh, Howie takes his swing at another factory worker to add to the assembly line. Uh, I and there's also. Like you said, there's only one quarterback on the roster after a Carson Wentz trade. I don't think Nate Sudfeld is necessarily coming back unless it's on an extremely cheap deal. And even then, it's a new regime. I don't really see Sudfeld coming back. And I don't know if we have the cap to really address a backup quarterback or get a legitimate backup quarterback like a Andy Dalton type that's going to cost a little bit more than we really can allocate to a backup quarterback. So I think a guy that we could be looking at is Sam Ellinger from Texas. Uh, he's obviously not a fantastic thrower, uh, but he's still limited on his interceptions and turnovers and threw for a lot of touchdowns. In fact, he had the most touchdowns under pressure this year and was the best quarterback in the Big 12 under pressure. So he certainly is a little improvisational in the pocket and he's able to move around, which is able to help him uh, against a, a blitz or against any sort of pressure. And I do think he could be a good backup in the NFL due to his moxie his confidence and his improvisational ability. He's not a small guy at 6'3", 225. I think he could very well be Taysom Hillish, which I don't necessarily support as a gadget player. I'm not someone who loves using two quarterbacks. I didn't love it with Hertz last year, the idea of that. Uh, but I do think it's perfectly fine change of pace backup quarterback. And I think the same thing about Taysom Hill. Uh, I think, I, I actually think Ellinger is a little bit more accurate, at least, uh, than Taysom Hill is. I don't know about the deep ball. It does seem like Taysom Hill is a little bit better of a deep ball. But I do think, especially with a guy like Jalen Hurts, if he's our starting quarterback moving forward, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have the backup quarterback be someone who can run around a bit too. So you're not completely adjusting your offense uh, if Jalen Hurts were to get hurt or something were to happen. 